Hey guys, Chris Peterson here, bringing you another audio commentary. This time it's going to be a live game between Brian Wall as the uh, white player and Profin as the black player. Now this is a three minute game on ICC, and it looks like it started out as a Sicilian, but kind of morphed into some kind of weird, I don't know, French type thing. I don't know what this is. I guess it's still a Sicilian, but... Um, now... Let's see. A little bit confused. The game's going by pretty fast here. Um, could see a trade of queens here to go into an endgame. Nope, Brian doesn't want to do that. Yep, bishop d3. Probably going to be trying some kingside um, harassment here with like queen c2 maybe. Or even, okay, rook h5. That's good. <laughs> a little bit confused by Brian's moves. It looks like he could just lose a, a rook there, but... Uh, now rook g3, probably. Rook g3 to get out of the uh, discovered attack. Um, there we go. And maybe queen b3, so we can threaten, like, bishop takes g6 kind of things. Um, oh, he just retreats his bishop, that's also good. Uh, now his bishops have uh, a lot of power along that uh, long diagonal, so... Looks like he's losing his star squid bishop though, probably. Oh, the the rook on g3 is actually defending the d3 bishop, so he's not actually hanging that. And um, it looks to me like black is going to be able to hold on to this position fairly easily. And uh, but I mean Brian's only down a pawn, which is, I mean it is a winning advantage in most cases, but um, in the end game it, it it'll be a little bit more difficult to deal with. Oh, Brian just lost a rook there. That was a mistake. Oops. <laughs> um, oh, he just resigned there. So, start a new game. That, that's something about these three-minute games. is You get a lot of games in, and sometimes you make uh, terrible mistakes like that. So, that's unfortunate. Um, this time we have a e4, e5. A little different with that bishop on d2 rather than either on c4 or b5. Uh, it looks like Brian's going to be going for that kingside pressure again. Now, Brian likes to do that kingside pressure, and he's uh, very good at setting up attacks, and this game is obviously no exception. Uh, G4, and those pawns are going to be breaking up his uh, the white kingside in no time. This time he's playing uh, Tamod, who's 1756. Um, Brian, at 2189, I know I was over at his house, and we were trying to get his rating above, like, 20... 2160 something, 2150 something, and he, he got it way up, so that's, that's good for Brian. Um, now, as you can see, Brian is doing the classical uh, g3 to break up the king side. Um, that's the best way to break up this king with that bishop on b6. It's going to be uh, very easy to just get rid of all of those king side pawns. Um, probably want to be playing c5 at some point here for white. I don't know about that move. Just pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn check was good too. Um, probably, yep, C takes. Probably pawn takes pawn check here, and then queen f6 is good. Oh, bishop takes is also good. Pawn takes. Maybe queen h4. Yep, okay. Um, and now we need to get some more pieces into the attack here. Probably want to. Um, Oh, okay, he doesn't even move the knight. That's interesting. I guess he doesn't want the queen invading on c7, because that would be pretty bad. Um, probably queen g3 now? No? Okay, just retreat all the way. Sometimes it's hard to predict what Brian's going to do. <laughs> I know he doesn't like to retreat, so that's why I thought queen g3, but uh, his move seems okay too, just trying to solidify his position a little bit. He's down material, I think. Let's see... It looks like he's down two pieces for a rook. Uh, and and pawns are even, so it's a tough spot for Brian. A lot of times those two pieces can kind of swarm around the rook and just kind of overpower it. And especially since Brian's not going to be able to castle and get his rooks connected very easily. Um, he probably might have wanted to trade queens there, so that way he can connect his rooks. Not earlier, I mean. Because um, in this position it's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, one possibility of a tactic is h2, uh, followed by a bishop h3, and then a bishop g2 sack, queening on h1, uh, which wins an exchange, but 
Uh, Brian's going for the more pressurized route. That move just loses a pawn. Rook takes g3 check. Um, probably rook e3 now. Yep. And uh, might be losing that d3 pawn as well. And Brian's probably going to castle queenside now. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, he castled so late, but so effective as well. So, rook g8 now. No, I guess he doesn't. Okay, just winning that e4 pawn and attacking the knight. Probably going to win that d4 pawn as well. Uh, just pawn takes d4 is good. Um, and now, let's see. Probably rook... Well, yeah, rook e3 and if bishop takes pawn, rook takes a3 is good. I'm not so sure about that move. Probably just rook f8 is going to be winning some material. Come on, Brian. Rook d to f8. Nope, okay. Oh, that just loses a... <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I guess it doesn't lose a rook. Um, Brian better move that a3 rook, otherwise it's just going to get captured. Or, guess not. How bizarre. Uh, now bishop c6, but that doesn't work. Okay, he's just going to take there. So now he's got the... He's, he's just got a massive pawn advantage, and that's going to be decisive in this game. So those those C and D pawns are just going to roll up the board, and then the A pawn's just going to march up there as well. So, yeah, this game is just over. Brian's going to win it very easily. Um, then I'll probably do one more game, and then I'll have to um, save that file and then start a new one, because I can only do, like, 15 minutes. So, uh, this game's going to reach about... Well, actually... Yeah, so it'll be about the right number of moves. Right number of games, anyway. Uh, so time we would lose in this game very easily. Brian's actually queening now. Probably going to see resignation. Yep, there it goes. And let's see the next game. So Brian, oh, I guess they're doing a little bit of a rematch. <laughs> uh, this time it's going to be another French. Uh, E5, yep. Um, Brian told me a little bit about this opening. He said it's like a special move order of some kind, but I totally forgot what it was. So sorry about that. Uh, Queen B6, probably standardized variation. Nope, okay. Uh, I've been seeing that Bishop D7 move a lot. The idea is to try to trade off the light squared bishops, because that bishop is generally your your worst piece. So if you can trade it off, it's a good idea. Um, for Brian, I don't know, Bishop H3, castles king side, maybe. Okay. Um, bishop B1, yep. <laughs> Sometimes Brian moves are really easy to predict. Sometimes they're pretty difficult, but I was right that time, so that's good. Um, so Brian's getting a lot of pressure over on that king side again. Uh, pawn takes g6 is a good move here. There we go. And now he's got pressure on that h6 pawn. Uh, and now knight f7 is good. Or he could probably just play queen takes g4. Yep, knight f7 is the move. And now, whoa. I don't understand that move. Oh, I see. So after pawn takes, queen takes, check. And then if queen e2, then queen takes h8 is the idea. But Brian just simply castles and kind of stops all that nonsense. Um, although his king is a little bit exposed here, it's going to be difficult for black to try to capitalize on that because um, that, that pawn on g6 and that knight over on h8 are really going to uh, hamper Black's pieces a lot, so, um, Tom Root playing pretty creatively, and Brian as well, so, the interesting thing is, usually when I, when I was over at Brian's house, he was playing, uh, just like GM after GM, and GM after IM, and just crazy, crazy, uh, strong players, and so far, Brian hasn't played any players of recognition so far, so, that's unfortunate, but these games are still pretty interesting in my, my opinion, so, E4 solidifying that knight on F3. That knight's not going anywhere for a long time. Um, and if he can get some, uh, if he can get some control over that H file, that knight on F3 could be very deadly. Uh, but Brian just pushing forward with his G pawn, probably going to end up seeing that either become a queen or winning a rook or something for it. And um, although, yeah, Bishop E6 wouldn't be good because Rook takes E6. <laughs> oh, Black just giving up his queen. That's no good at all. Uh, and now the queen's going to be coming in next, so that's that's rough. So he just resigns there. Don't have time for another game, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, and I'll be putting out another video for Brian. So, yeah.